Shooting video is about creating a story or sometimes creating the feelings that we want the viewers to feel. B-roll is the supplemental footage that conveys the feelings. It may or may not share the same concept of the A story. It creates a pause for more main story and oftentimes a transition, and makes the video kind of fun to watch. And here are my five tips to elevate solo B-roll filming. My first tip is to add some movements. That can mean either your camera moving or your subject moving or both moving. The simplest way is to zoom in and zoom out. And another classic shooting trick that you might have seen a lot is to have your camera moving in one direction and the subject moving in other direction, so they kind of meet in the middle. My second tip is to capture the same scene with three different shots: a wide shot, a mid shot, and a close up, just three different times, three different ways, and present them in sequence. It helps to bring a little bit of layers of depth into the videos, and at the same time, the audience have a better idea of where you are and what you are doing. My third tip is kind of cool one: the spin shot. It's a building effect in DJI Pocket 3. In order to achieve a good spin shot, the key is that you need to find a central point. And you just walk towards that point while the camera spins. My next tip is about time lapse. Just set the camera on the tripod and sit for like a few minutes. It is the easiest way to capture the changes in clouds and lights. To take it up a notch, we could add some motions to time lapse. Let's say to actually move the camera as we are doing time lapse, we could move the camera from left to the right and right to the left. My fifth tip goes with the slow motion. It looks so dramatic, cool, and smooth, and gives people the feeling like there is so much going on. It enables audience to see all those details that we would have never seen it in that way. When you do 120 frames per second, all you need is one second of something decent. Then you get five seconds of a nice B-roll footage. So practically, it is so useful when you're shooting some fast-moving object. Solo filming can be really tedious and frustrating, as countless spots I've been to just didn't work. And most of the footage was nowhere near my standard. In the meanwhile, it's time-consuming as you need to shoot the same object from all directions and angles multiple times in order to get varieties of shots. It takes a lot of practices, but eventually, our filming and storytelling and editing skills are going to improve. My bonus tip. Don't hesitate on pressing the record button at any point, even if it's not perfect. Sometimes the shaky, hectic, and terribly framed moment gives the video the contrast that might work just perfect. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video.